it's a real pleasure to welcome to welcome all of you here. And uh, if I understand correctly, we have as as large an audience here as we do um, outside of this building, which is great. Um, and in fact, we have one of our panelists uh, joining us from Georgia. So this is a very exciting um, lineup, and uh, I'm very happy to welcome you. Uh, today, we're going to be focusing on the role of political parties in promoting development, which is um, a very important issue, especially considering uh, what a post-2015 uh, development agenda will focus on and the role of parties, if any, in helping uh, to, to deliver on the developmental promise. Um, this event today is part of a broader yes, initiative that we're um, developing here at ODI on why elections matter. And if you're interested in finding a little bit more about it, uh, there are flyers about it um, outside. Um, and this we're doing in partnership with International IDEA um, and also with BBC Media Action. Um, and it's a great pleasure to have IDEA represented in this panel today and also to have someone from BBC Media Action in the audience. Um, so just to tell you a few other things um, that are exciting. We're also today launching this briefing um, that I have written on the relationship between democracy and development and, and if, if and whether there's any kind of causal relationship. Um, and we also have done this infographics as part of this initiative, which you may have seen, and we have a few copies available, um, a printed copies available outside, but um, also they're available online. And today we have a really great uh, lineup of speakers, and I'm very excited to welcome everybody. So I will introduce um, everyone um, in order and then uh, let them take uh, the show onwards. So immediately to my left, I have Nick Cheeseman, who is a university lecturer in African politics, um, African studies at the African Center's at the African, sorry, African Study Center at Oxford University, and also is the co-editor of the African Affairs Journal. Um, Nick has extensive experience um, dealing with political parties. Uh, his doctoral work, which actually won uh, the Arthur McDougall Dissertation Prize for the best dissertation on elections, electoral systems, or representation from the Political Studies Association of the UK, uh, looked at how leaders sought to maintain power in one party systems in, in Kenya and Zambia. And uh, his research since then has been asking questions relating to how paying taxes may change citizens' perceptions about uh, corruption and legitimacy. Uh, whether populism is an effective electoral strategy in Africa, and conditions under which ruling parties may lose power. He has written extensively on these subjects, uh, both in terms of articles and books, and most recently he has written a book on democracy in Africa, which is published by Cambridge University Press and just came out. Um, Nick has also been quite sought after for policy advice, not only by the UK government, but also um, other international governments, including Brazil. Um, and he will be uh, opening up the discussion today with uh, some reflections and insights about the kind of research that he has been leading on, f uh, uh, sponsored by International IDEA, on uh, how programmatic political parties emerge and what the obstacles are, uh, or ki the kinds of trajectories that they, that they um, undertake. Um, then I have Greg Power, um, who is the director <laughs> of Global Power's Governance. And uh, Greg also is a rather large figure in this field. He has been involved in issues of political and parliamentary re reform for around 20 years. Um, and he co-founded Global Partners in 2005 to be able to help uh, strengthen representative politics and has been quite heavily involved in working with parliamentarians and political parties all over the world, including the Middle East, Sub-Saharan Africa, uh, Central and Eastern Europe, and Latin America. Uh, he, he will be uh, one of our discussants after Nick and Jorge present uh, the, the research from International IDEA. Um, then I have Jorge Valladares, who is a program officer at the, uh, the Global Program on Democracy and Development at International IDEA. And uh, he focuses his work on knowledge generation on issues related to democratic accountability, political parties, and institutional design in the context of development. 
Uh, prior to joining International IDEA, Jorge was coordinator for electoral observation and political reform at Transparencia, which is a civic movement uh, which was instrumental in the democratization process in Peru. Um, and he has been involved ec um, extensively in political reforms, political party building, and electoral observation across Latin America, including Bolivia, the Dominican Republic, Ecuador, Peru, and Venezuela. And Jorge is here to share some of the broader messages and insights that, that emerge from fairly extensive research that International IDEA has commissioned on the role of political parties in promoting development, not only what Nick will be talking about, but also broader research that was led by um, uh, Duke University um, professor Herbert Kichel on whether uh, clientelistic or uh, programmatic parties are better at, at promoting development. And uh, last but not least, we have Luis Navarro, who's joining us, as I was saying, from, from his office in Georgia. And it's a real pleasure to welcome you, uh, Luis. I hope you can hear us well. Um, Luis is the director of the National Democratic Institute's country office in Georgia. Um, and he has been in that post since 2009. Uh, Luis comes with an extraordinarily rich career in um, the politics um, in the United States, where he was, among other things, um, the presidential campaign manager and last chief of staff for uh, Senator Joe Biden. Um, at NDI in uh, Georgia, in the Georgia office, Luis has overseen an extensive process of parliamentary and, and electoral uh, reform, including several initiatives to increase outreach to constituencies and to link, um, to, to improve linkages between political parties and citizens also through the media. So um, uh, Luis will be also one of the discussants uh, for today's events. So in terms of the setup, um, as I was saying, Nick will kick us off. Um, and he has between 10 to 12 minutes to, to, uh, to speak with us. And then I will pass over to Jorge, um, uh, who will do, take another 10 to 15, uh, 12 minutes. And then we'll, we will hear from our discussants, both uh, Greg and Luis. And if I can just ask you to please um, not move the position of your microphone, because it's essential for the outside world to be able to hear you. And if I can remind you that the everything is being uh, recorded, so it's, it's for public consumption. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, I forgot. You must tweet if you like tweeting. <laughs> and we have a hashtag. We have. Uh, two fellow ODIers there with, uh, who are very good at tweeting, and the hashtag is hashtag political parties. So please feel free. Thank you. So without further ado, I turn over to you, Nick. Thank you. <laughs> 